Mike Peden here with Izion Castro Marquez, who also goes by Izzy from the Atlanta Dream, uh, making your first finals visit to the Twin Cities, your second straight visit with the Atlanta Dream. And so what would you say this finals run says about perseverance? Atlanta starting one in five and then making the playoffs look pretty easy. Um, I think that's how we define ourselves, you know, we never give up, we are fighters and our season showed that the whole way through here, um, nobody ever pointed us to be here, but we always believe in ourselves and our work and we work hard to be here. Now, there was a story earlier this week with you and Erica D'Souza, the two Brazilians, Erica fulfilling the Brazilian team needs, you fulfilling Atlanta's needs, and so when she comes back, what adjustments or what do you think will change with Atlanta because the three-guard lineup uh, proved very beneficial with Indiana? Um, it's not much change, you know. Um, we have played that way during the season before. and We need a center back, of course. She's been starting for the whole season during the playoffs. She only knows it started when she wasn't here. Um, she's a great rebounder, and we're definitely going to need that against the Minnesota Lynx. So um, I think it's going to be what the game uh, tells you during the game so whatever they need it maybe need us to be smaller run faster or need us to be big so it depends on coach decisions what's going to be different for both these teams because minnesota was five and one i believe after they swept you in the regular season series then they went through a rough spot got to this point atlanta was having to fight their way they get up to the third seed and here they are so how is the links different and how is atlanta different uh, I think um, the Lynx have an amazing season. Uh, they pretty much have no adversity at all, and we did. We have to make our way here all the way when we have the playoffs, four seed, you know, to make to the finals again. So I think that's the difference. They have it easier for them. Of course, they work hard for that, but we have to work even harder because, you know, every, everything wasn't going our way during the season. We have a lot of injuries, so we really had to find our way during the season to make us get to this moment. And part of that fight was your road mentality. As you mentioned last year, the four seed coming to the finals this year, you also had two road series. And so yes, how do you prep on the road? Because folks talk about how tough it is to win on the road and Atlanta doing a great job of doing that. Yeah, we always be a great team on the road. Um, I think we're just very fox. We know that it's very hard to win on the road. I guess we just come extra fox to do that. Um, nobody um, really think is uh, the other team's responsible to win when they road, but we think we can take those wins out of those teams. So I think that's what is the difference. Uh, of course, we, we have to bring our A game all the time, but we have to jump from the start, and that's what we do sometimes when we're on the road. You know, we jump from the start, don't let the team ever catch us, and when we have the opportunity, we just close up the games. And first season, 4-30 and 30 back in 2008. Whatever happens in this finals, what does a second straight appearance say about the rise and the consistency of the Dream franchise? A lot of things have changed and uh, I think uh, the coaches put a great team together. Um, back from the 4-30, um, we think we are just uh, one of the top teams on this league and we have proved it to be on the finals again. Um, and I think it's just work. Uh, this team is, like I said before, is relentless, work hard, and this pays off at the time. Of course, we have great players, great talent, but if you don't work hard, it don't matter. So we do have all the components that make us to be a championship team. And anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this uh, interview? Not really. Well, you've got all the Atlanta fans and maybe the Brazilian fans watching. Okay, um, so all, all the Atlanta fans and the Brazilian fans, um, thank you for supporting us the whole season. Obrigada, Brasil, and keep cheering for us. We need your help. Thank you. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you.